So here we have a problem in which a 5.5 centimeter piece of magnesium is going to react with hydrochloric acid. Now anytime a metal reacts with an acid, hydrogen gas is produced. So the next line tells us the relationship between the amount of hydrogen gas produced and the amount of magnesium that has to react in order to produce the hydrogen gas. So we see here that 16 milliliters of hydrogen gas is released for every that's a clue that this is a relationship for every 1.25 centimeter piece of magnesium. So anytime you read a problem and you see some extra information there, in this case the relationship between the hydrogen gas and the magnesium piece of metal, write that down off to the side. Make a little note. This is a conversion factor. 16 milliliters of hydrogen gas, so 16 mLs of H2 hydrogen gas, is released for every 1.25 centimeter piece of magnesium. Now don't worry about which unit you put on top or on the bottom, just make sure the 16 goes with the milliliters and the 1.25 goes with the centimeters. But we'll worry about flipping this over later on when we actually write out the problem. But just jot down the relationship so you know that you have a conversion factor that you're probably going to use. Now let's reread the problem. It says imagine you react a 5.5 centimeter piece of magnesium. So this is what we're going to start with, the piece of magnesium. We want to figure out how much hydrogen gas should be produced. So we're going to start with the only number that doesn't have a partner yet, 5.5 centimeters. We don't know how many milliliters that's equal to. So it doesn't really have a partner, so we have to do some math to get it a partner. And we're going to solve for milliliters of hydrogen gas. So 5.50 centimeters of magnesium has to cancel out. So if we want it to cancel, we have to put centimeters of magnesium down here, put the units down on the bottom. And then on top, we want to end up with milliliters of hydrogen gas. So we put that on top. Now let's look back at that conversion factor. We realize 16.0 goes with the milliliters. So put 16.0 with the milliliters. And the 1.25 goes with the centimeters. So 1.25 goes down here. Centimeters of magnesium is going to cancel. Milliliters of hydrogen is not going to cancel, which is good, because that's what we want in our final answer. And now it's just basic math. Now you're going to take any number on top and multiply them together. So on your calculator, do 5.50 times 16.0, and then any number below the line. See the horizontal line here? Here's a number below it. You're going to divide through by this. So multiply 5.50 times 16 divided by 1.25. And when you're done, it comes out to 70.4, 70.4 milliliters of hydrogen. Now, this has got a partner. We know these two things are equal. And we use this relationship to determine that.